was a black Lexus that uh, matched that of Tracy. Boy, it's just cruising uh, on down his that, there was a, uh, body there. Yellow Penske moving van. The Penske truck, uh, which we know that, that Tracy had rented one. Um, How you doing, buddy? On Saturday. How you doing? The black Lexus showed up Did you get your fishy? A black Lexus. Did you get your fishy? Truck. A lady that looked like Tracy got out of it went into the store. A second security camera recorded this. her entering and exiting the supermarket. Then, on the tape from the parking lot, the woman could be seen driving away in the Penske trunk. She came back several hours later uh, in the early morning hours of Monday and parked David's white Lexus there. And He's walked back in over and one. got in the black Lexus and drove you. away. The timestamp on the don't security tape was 1.42 a.m. 38 minutes later, David's burning body would be found in Grand Prairie. On Wednesday, April 24, police arrested Tracy Frame for the murder of David Nixon. We arrested Tracy and brought her to the police station. We took her uh, into an interrogation room and read her, her rights and then asked her if she wanted to, to answer questions, and she said no, she didn't. Tracy wasn't was talking, so cool. but the police weren't about to give up. Everybody knew that she was behind it. It's up to the police now to just try to figure out how, how she did it and, you know, when and where and why and make sure she gets found guilty for this. On Wednesday night, an hour after the arrest, Grapevine police descended on David and Tracy's house with a search warrant. But after hours of combing by the crime scene unit, the search came up all but empty-handed. There was no physical so evidence funny. inside Have you ever watched him? I'm no recording this. Have you ever no bullets, watched him do it? Not nope. even a blood stain. Cool. The house was searched with cadaver dogs. Although we didn't find any uh, physical evidence, the See? cadaver Got dogs one. did alert to a few places in the house, which... Uh, no sudden movements now, for sure, because of where a decomposing body may have been. But if David had been killed in the house as the police They're believed, like, oh, why couldn't they find any physical evidence at the crime scene? The investigators may have found an answer when they pulled David's cell phone records on May 25th. After David's death, his cell phone was used quite a few times. Uh, mostly it was checking oh, voicemail. One particular call caught the investigators on. On Friday, the day David disappeared, That's someone cool. had used his phone to call a janitor.